I'm, I'm Collins, of course, and I want to show you guys the Thunder Dragon build which I played yesterday at the regionals. And I came third place. I lost only one round to my to all of my teammate Alberto. Uh, but the deck was really good. Um, honestly, I didn't want to like play the deck. Uh, I wanted to play my Orcus deck, which I really liked. But I just wanted to test danger. Uh, sorry, to test thunders before the YCS to actually see if it's a valuable option to play or not. Um, and I didn't want to play the explosive build because I knew people would be playing a lot of iron traps now. So I think um, this build is just better overall because it still does kind of like the same thing because you still win anyways with your board even if you don't have negate. Um, and you don't have to worry much about draws and stuff and and yet and yesterday was really good I wasn't playing that so yeah let's go go into the deck list um, so to start off three battery and solar of course I don't have to explain that it should be standard then three thunder dragon the OG one also standard then I basically just played three of every thunder three of this one three of this one and three of this one and then two matrix um because like all these ones are very good if you draw them with other cards which i played it's just like the old thunder dragon before the new before the danger cards were introduced in the deck or stuff and this is the worst one because you don't want to draw multiples you just want to summon it from the deck with raw and add the other one and that's all and yeah basically that's the main thunder lineup and then one uh, thunder dragon duo it's just for versatility it's very strong i would have played two if i had space uh, but i i had no space so i had to play one one deck on seca because it's good it's searchable um i want to game with it but it, it's okay it's good just one kaiju i thought a lot of people like it's a lot of people will start playing three kaina because they will have um it's a little bit difficult to play against thunder without three kaina so this is actually really good round three and four because with fusion you just add it and you just when the ego boost to the guy you just act you just summon this guy you win so it's still good and then i trap just three ash and two of these and three ash best and trap because it's more versatile no nothing about that this guy because I pulled one and Alberto also pulled one, so we I just played both of them. But this could be Valor whatsoever. I would have played Valor and not Impermanence, but yeah, that's it. And then for the spells, those are the monsters. I don't remember how many monsters I played. The spells, uh, three Instant Fusion, because um, we're playing the old build, so it's good. Three I Love Darkness, best card, very good. Three, uh, two Part of Desires. Uh, I was playing three, but I just noticed like two was okay and uh, you, you don't want to draw it often it's too good and um and that's it and more spells of course two fusion one of the best card and suck and reborn reborn was cool suck was cool and for the last card of the deck three eradicator virus um i decided to main deck three because i just noticed like the room would be like striker and even in the mirror match in the melody build this is still good and geist and everything um, one me two games it was good so that's the main deck um for the side deck oh let's go let's go extra deck first for the extra deck of course you play three colossus um nothing to say about that two titan pretty good like super good uh two instant fusion target one kimimari and one thousand died restrict you you have to i think you have to play them they're very good um for the links to some summon summoner, it's very good. It's you need it. One of these, I never summoned this guy because I was just making sorcerers with this guy and one thunder monster. I never used this guy, so I think it's not useful. I would just play something else next time. One leak ribo came up sometimes. Um, Phoenix for unicorn just for versatility. One summon suck you need it, and one borrowed load dragon. I didn't play Boris Sword because it was unuseful and I never missed it. I made this like twice and it was good. So that's for the extra deck. For the side deck, more hand traps. Oh, not him, but I mean, you have to play him. Three Gamma, best hand trap. Just best hand trap, hands down. If you go in second, you want me to mirror match my last round mirror match because I just use it on something, on an orc or something and win. Um, three of these. This was the worst card in my side deck because um, I played I played the mirror and I also played the. the the danger build but this card was like underwhelming I, I thought it would be better but it was really bad and i never put it in again and three pancreatops you have to play it um there was a game i used sock um sarcophago to remove these and just add it back after two turns it was really good um two then two more decos for back road and 
three red reboots for Backward Deck. The deck was really good. It was pretty consistent. Um, the deck was pretty consistent. Um, I would advi advise anyone to actually try You Don't Need the Danger cards. Um, so shout out to my team, Eman Games, of course. Um, they help us with everything. They're super oh, cool. We have the craziest guys in the community. Um, shout out to everyone that helped me with the deck, with the Thunder Dragon um, group. Shout out to the family, of course, Alberto, Jason, uh, Marco, and uh, Berto. Um, nothing else. Shout out to our sponsors, Monster Protectors, and that's all. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. Sign up.